Well, I'm back from the Norfolk Broads. Um, can't get enough of the walking. As you can see, there's Cynthia there. Hello, Cynthia. Hello. So we are going to set off to uh, Halnaka. Harnica. Oh, sorry. Harnica Windmill. On the windmill, uh, trail. On the windmill trail. We are in Harnaka. We're in the, Boxgrove. No, we're not. We're in Boxgrove. See, I've got it wrong straight away. It's no good relying on me. <laughs> I can easily get us lost. Easily. So, yeah, had a great try, uh, trip up to the Norfolk Broads with my very good friend Richard Vobes. I'll put a link on to, uh, to his uh, sites, YouTube, Facebook, etc, etc. So we're going to set off now, but just behind us is um, a sort of a stereo tip note. Quintessential. Quintessential English country scene. So I'll get a video of that, and that is a cricket match going on. There's an old, very old dovecot up there with uh, some of the pieces missing from the top, so it needs a, a bit of a, a refurb. We've got a lovely old oak tree there, right on the edge of the lawns to the house away in the distance there, which is over there. Big country pile for some wealthy landowner. We've got Cynthia. Clicking away there, getting some still photographs. I don't know what she's looking up into the air at. Ah, oh, she's focusing her camera. But this is a, a lovely little country lane heading off there, as you can see. But we think we might have to do a left just here by this gate to the next part of our walk. Well, we've just crossed this field. And we've got a lady that's following us with her dog. We've got Cynthia there. She's just about to climb over this stile in a very ladylike manner. But uh, then it's my turn. So up, up, and over. And now we're crossing this field of crop of some sort. I'm assuming this is potato possibly it's got a similar similar look to a potato leaf but actually no I think no. it's probably more of a winter crop um, could it be swede or turnip perhaps who knows it's crossed a very busy lane and there's a footpath sign back there we've got Wareham farm and Wareham house and we're just about to head up here and these lovely flint and brick built houses this is this one here on our right hand side it looks like a possibly a copper beach there I'm not sure and what's this one up here sycamore. that's a sycamore so we're heading up this way we should be getting to um a lovely avenue of trees soon which I think is probably very well filmed and very well photographed I think a friend of ours Glenn Johnson was here this year when the, the leaves were coming out or no last autumn perhaps I think when all the leaves were changing color can't remember beautiful cottage there mill cottage and we've got the sign for the Howanaka Hanukkah, Hanukkah windmill, which is just there, pointing up this direction. I must remember, it's Hanukkah 
not hell knacker. Just wanted to show you the views that we've got. You're not going to be able to make much of it out, but and I'm going to be turning directly into the sun, so this is not going to be great. I don't think this is going to come out, but we've got a beautiful shot across Chichester there. Um, you've got the reflection of the sun off the sea, but away in that direction, we've got Portsmouth, and you can just make out the Spinnaker Tower. Now that's probably go. That's probably glare all over that picture. Hopefully it's not, and I can still use it in my film, in my video. But I've got blackberries galore waiting to come out and ripen up. But up here, as I pan round, coming into shot, we've got the windmill. I've had a lot of windmills in the last week. Uh, up on the Norfolk Broads. Unfortunately, we couldn't get into any up there either. Uh, Richard, my friend, and I. But this is lovely, right on top of the the hill here. Not sure is this part of the South Downs Way? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And here we are, right at the base of the windmill. It's so I just can't get it all in in one shot from here. But I will try and move back in a little while. And just try and get round it. Brand new doors and all completely tile hung in these clay tiles and beautifully done. You got the sails there. But many of Many people will know of this, this windmill, but as you can see, this work's still going on with this horrible sight fencing all the way around it. But you have to do it for the public safety. But you've got a lightning, lightning rod there coming all the way down the building. It goes into the ground down here, just in front of where I am. scenery across the hills here a lot of people sunbathing so I don't want to get them in the shot We've just come to the end of our walk at Harnica Windmill, Harnica, just looking for approval. So we're going to be heading off back down the hill. There's a little bit of a breeze which might be picked up on the, the microphone, but it's been a nice walk. First time I've ever been up here. Have you been here before? No, never. So it's been lovely and yeah. we've had perfect weather. There's been quite a few people about. But as I say, we're going to head off back now and uh, probably get a coffee or a cup of tea somewhere it's which we usually do I think we should. yeah definitely definitely we deserve should. it yeah, yeah we so anyway this is kevin and cynthia saying bye-bye from harnica windmill bye-bye bye bye, bye. bye. bye.